Welcome to the WooCommerce product size chart plugin. So in this video, I will show you how to add new size chart with advanced settings. So here you can see list of default templates and click here to add new size chart. In the starting, you need to add the title of the size chart. How to measure information, here you can add in this editor. And in the new setting, you can add the title of the pop-up size chart position like you want to display the additional tab called pop-up labeling and size chart link type text or button and icon if you want to set you can choose from here and size chart styling you want to display all the content in standard flow or tab i will show you later on and the position of the pop-up left right or center and the styling of the tables like uh, you can see there are multiple predefined templates available for the size chart table as you can see its default is like this from the global and if you want to change like uh, for example modern and it will change the table styling to modern and you can also set any custom or advanced so in the advanced you can add your own header color and uh, border so for example as you can see right now you, if you want to change it depends on the different color you can add the settings in the table so let's uh, move it with the default one right now and move further and after doing this all the settings uh, you just need to click over here in the preview and it will be ready the template how it will be look like so let's click so you can see uh, the information display over here and at the last you can see the table and after that if you want to change any settings like as i mentioned tabbed options if you select as a tab and preview then it will display in the two tab size chart table and how to measure information in another tab so let's save this setting and uh, let's go forward uh, in the right side panel you can see the provide short code and this short code is used if you have any custom page template like Elementor, then this short code is helpful to display uh, this size chart in any place. And here you can also assign this size chart to specific category, tag, attributes, or product. So let's assign this product to specific. I've assigned this product over here. Update. So let's see how it will look like. So I already refresh and open this product. So you can see it will be look like this and uh, if you want to change this position or tile you can do it from here as I mentioned text so if we mention as a text then it will be replace the style so you can see this as a tab and if you click it will display the same settings whatever we are able to see in the preview and another setting related to the position like if we want to change from the right side and the save the settings it will be available from the right side let's refresh so you can see it's available from the right side so let's move in the another one is the global settings so here you can see the global setting of the table styling here you can add the labeling and type of button as i mentioned texture button from here you can also change the position of the link from here before or after it to cut and here is the position if you want to change the size chart pop-up like small medium or large you can do it from here and here is the size chart permission for example if you want to assign this size chart plugin to specific your shop manager you can just select the list of plots from here and it's available for the specific roles or user and it will manage from the admin side and admin do not require more time to spend on this and if there are any customization on the labeling or on the styling you can do it from here so let's jump into the custom page template so like i have just copied the short code and now we are moving on the specific page so for example i just open this page and we can add short code in any place in this like let's add over here update and view the page so you can see the size chart is also available in this page template and if you click it will display the same settings that we have configured so likewise we can uh, display all the settings using the different 
for this and, and short code. So I hope this is very easy to understand how to configure the size chart with advanced settings. Thank you for watching the video. Have a good day. Thank you.